So this video is going over the solutions to multiplying out brackets when both mass is involved as well. Now there is another video giving you the solutions going over to this exact same assignment. Um, but as you'll see that in this video I'm only going to use a Word document and that's because some of you have been handing in your assignments on Teams via Word documents um, and unfortunately some of you are naturally getting a lot of these questions wrong not because you don't know how to do it I believe you do um, the issue is that you don't know how to type algebra into a word document okay so for that reason I'm going to show you how to do it secondly what I would say is if you can you should avoid using the word document because I really want to see your hand written working for the for, for maths just in general and that's of course because your exam um, which I know is two years away is written okay so you need to get used to writing all things maths and numeracy in your jotter and taking a picture and uploading it okay so if you can if you've got access to a phone where you can take a picture of your work then please um, stop using word documents and use your jotter and then upload a picture of your physical working. However, if that's not an option, that's okay. Uh, that's obviously why I'm creating this video for you today, so that you know how to use a Word document um, and type the maths up correctly. So, question number one. 7y, and it's been multiplied by y minus 4. So, what we need to do, of course, is... 7y times y. So that's going to give me 7y squared. So I write my 7y and then I need a superscript. So see up here underneath the font size you've got a wee x to the 2 so that's x squared but it actually stands for superscript. If you click that then it's going to allow me to enter my squared sign. Now if I click it, I click it sorry, again you'll see that my cursor goes from being a small cursor to a big cursor again. And that's going to allow me to do my next bit. So minus and then 7y times minus 4 is minus 28y. Oh, I didn't mean to have two negatives yet. Okay. Let's try the next one. Okay. Try and space them out a wee bit. Right, number two, it was eight times two t plus three and plus fourteen. Okay, so let's do the eight times the two t first. So that will give me sixteen t, and then it's eight times three, which is positive twenty four. And then that's me dealt with the bracket. Of course, that plus 4t is still there, so we need to add that on. And then we need to simplify. We need to collect like terms. So there I have 16t, and there I've got 4t. That gives me 20t. And then I have the number 24. There's no other numbers to collect alongside it, so that's your final answer. 20t plus 24. Right, number three, we've got 5c times 3c plus 2, then plus 3c. Okay, so very similar to the question above. All right, so 5c times 3c, so that will be 5 times 3 is 15, and c times c is c squared, so altogether 15c squared. So 15c, again, up to find your superscript. Click that, put in your 2 for your squared, then click your superscript again, and then I've got plus 5c times 2, so that'll give me 10c. That's you finished multiplying out the bracket. Remember, you still need to add on 3c. And here we need to collect like terms, okay? So here's a c squared. I've no other c squareds. So I have 15c squared, 
collect your C's together, you've got 10C plus 3C, <clears throat> so that's 13C. Number four, let's see three plus six times two plus nine f okay so it's three that's on its own here and then it's plus six but the six is obviously multiplying out the bracket okay so and using bod mass of course you're going to do your bracket first so six times two is twelve and then plus, you've got 6 times 9, well 9f, so 63f, oh, sorry not 63, 54f. And then, of course you can't forget about this 3, you'll see it's positive, so plus 3. Collect your like terms, you'll have 12 plus 3, so that gives me 15. And then you still need to do your 54f. Okay. You might have, at this stage, left the 3 at the front and then did plus 12, plus 54F. That's okay, right? It doesn't matter which way around this middle bit is. Ultimately, you might have this round the other way as well. You might have 54F plus 15. That's also okay. You can have them anywhere around you like. All right. And then question 5. We've got 10 minus 4 times 5k minus 3. Okay, so similar here, but just be careful, you should be noticing that we've got negatives. Okay, so if I deal with the bracket first, you'll notice it's minus 4 times 5k. So that's minus 20k. And then it's minus 4 times minus 3. So a negative times a negative is a positive. And then, again, don't forget about this 10, which is positive. So we still need to add that on. Or, like I said, with the previous example, you might have had 10 to begin with, and then minus 20k plus 12. That's okay. Right, collecting like terms. So I've only got negative 20k. There's nothing else to gather there. And then 12 plus 10 is 22, positive 22. And again, they might be around the other way. That's okay. Question number six, and the last question of this assignment was 4 times 2x minus 3. And then plus 5 times 1 minus 2x. Okay, this is marginally different to the previous questions only because it's the only question that has two brackets in it. But what you should notice is that the brackets are being multiplied by their own numbers. So you've got four times this bracket and then you've got five times this bracket. In other words, we can do the brackets separately and that's exactly what we're going to do. Okay, so 4 times 2x is 8x, and then 4 times minus 3 is minus 12. That's that bracket done. Now we need to do the second bracket. So positive 5 times 1 is 5, and then positive 5 times minus 2 is minus 10x. Okay, so let's collect like terms. So 8x minus 10x, so that'll give me minus 2x, and then I've got minus 12 plus 5, well that's minus 7. Okay, so hopefully that's helped if you're using a Word document, but like I said, if you don't need to use a Word document and you can actually do it in your jotter and then take a picture, that would be my preferred option because I really want to see your handwritten working. Okay.